Howdy, howdy. Folks, we're, we're crushing stuff out here that I figured they would have. The inside of that truck was clean. I know y'all can't see, but that passenger door inside panel's clean. The dash is clean. Oh, come on. Just trying to get it to bend a little bit. There we go. Really not much more you can do. Go ahead, man. Sorry, I should have issued a warning for the world's ugliest ground guy. <laughs> hey, maybe that's what it is. He talks so much smack because I call him ugly every day. There it is. There it is. There it is. This whole time has been my fault. I'm trying to make a load out of this stuff. As long as she brings me something like this, we can we get these tabs going. Hang on, I need to push that bed back in. I don't care who you are. That ain't easy. You're just hitting like, watch your face. Come on, man, where did you think I was gonna put this fork? Where did you think I was gonna put this fork next? Come on. All right, don't give me that look. <laughs> I can understand, but I mean, you've been, you've been out here 16 years and you ought to know where that fork's gonna go. I gotta, I gotta push it all in. All right, that's good enough for me. Good enough for the current inflation rate. <laughs> I got my Outback Outlaw stickers up there and thank you and uh, got my I know it's kind of hidden but I think when we're loading trucks we'll be able to See the German Polizide sticker. Appreciate it, fellas. thing we're putting in here. I can dress it up. We have crushed so many freaking Super Duty cabs. I crushed like two, three of them that had like King Ranch packages and like, man. I just can't believe we're not selling that stuff. I mean, when you're getting $3,500, $4,500 a whack on these diesel motors, sometimes five grand for some of that stuff out here. Oh. But who knows what they're paying for them at the auction. Who knows? I 
we're trying to find a little rhythm. This with that, and this and that. Put it together. She did say she's gonna bring me some frames after lunch, that third load. All right, let's see if I can get this in there. These forks are just almost too wide for most differentials. They're too wide. I got it right now. Easy, 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 easy. Like it was magnetized for a second. There you go. Come on. Rolling around. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Now I know what's rolling around. Uh, check it out. I found a snap-on 11 millimeter universal. Some people call them wobbles. Y'all price that. That's probably 30, 40 bucks. There it is, snap on. But here's the situation. The people that work here, like there's no customers running around in the yard. This is, this is a full service yard. So, the people that work here, I've known them all a long time and they're like my friends. And, like, um, the lady on the forklift, she she does pull some parts, but not, not many, she's, she, she's moving stuff around. And then the, the part puller, rack guy, the motor guy, <laughs> I've known him, uh, 10 years, 12 years. <coughs> so it's probably here. As a matter of fact, the snap-on truck was here yesterday and I seen him coming off the, the truck and, you know, Cowboy being nosy, I'm like, oh, man, what do you what do you owe him? He's like, man, I got it down to $300. A snap-on will give you some credit. And, I mean, they will extend you some credit. And them guys, the snap-on guys, we'd hire a new guy, and they didn't have all the right tools or whatever, and somebody goes, yeah, wait for the snap-on guy. Wait for the snap-on guy, and he'll give you some credit, and you'll, we'll, you'll get these tools. But then the snap-on guy would ask me, hey, man, you think this guy's going to work out? And I'm like, man, I ain't vouching for none of these people out here. I mean, that, that ain't, I ain't vouching for nobody. I mean, what do you think? Are you, is he gonna make it? Or are you gonna fire him them next week? Some plan, dude. I ain't bouncing for nobody, bro. I don't know how that works out for him because I, I, uh, there's always a snap-on guy looking for somebody that owes him money. Like, always. And I wonder how that works out. Is there like an insurance? Is there, I don't know. They just eat it, they're just stuck with it. Cause it wouldn't take too many of them and you go out of business. Well, I guess uh, this is going to start being a regular thing on these. Now, this is the high topper. The, this one, I, probably, I might have a problem getting in it. No, I don't think so. 
You know, it probably what it is when I first started crushing these sprinters or transit vans, whatever you call them. Uh, yeah, I got beat up in the comments section one time. It's like, that's not a transit, that or sprint or whatever. whatever. Anyway, uh, AC Cowboy? You just put that there. Um, I had the old crusher, old Betsy, and it only has like a six foot opening, I think. And that's probably where I'm remembering going too long, too tall. Anyway, we'll deal with it. Y'all know what's up. This is what I'm gonna try to do real quick. I'm gonna try to. We don't have a scraper. They did. They, they when we got over here, the equipment was already here. And um, they didn't bring the scraper. So I'm gonna go over here and see if I can't just uh, take a broom real fast and just shove that stuff into a spot. That'll work for now. Hope I didn't bore anyone. I didn't dance. I'm trying to grow the channel. <laughs> Man, I should have danced. I'm trying to increase my 
female watching audience. I had it up to like 18% at one time. Pop some more of these tabs when that sprinter's draining. Yeah, that's that that socket's probably my homies. Probably. I wish I could meet this guy. His 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 nickname is AK, AK47. And uh, you know, once you get a nickname in the junkyard, that means you're official. But uh, we call him AK-47 not because he'll he'll like you know just pull out a, a gun and shoot people or or anything like, or he's a communist or anything like that. But um, his chin, he's got like one of those like really long, like protruding chins. And it looks like the banana clip of AK-47. <laughs> and for the longest time, he wouldn't tell me. I was like, man, what's up with the... I was like, man, you're a real nice guy, man. Like, how come you got, like, such a hard, like, street name, AK-47, is what they call me? You're a nice dude. And he wouldn't tell me. He was, I don't know, man. They just... That's just what they, somebody made up. And I'd ask him again, hey, man, come on, dude. What's... What's the story behind it? So I finally asked this other dude, and he's like, oh, this is why we call him that. <laughs> Come on. Get on the end of these forks. Well, she shut the gate, so she must be going to lunch. Oh, it is lunchtime. Telling you that uh, that Super Duty utility truck we crushed, man, it was nice. Whenever you're ready, homie. Come on. I can't read lips, man. Oh, you gotta go use the restroom. Okay, crush this and turn it off. Crush this and turn off the machine. Crush it and kill it. Or is that not your idea? <laughs> well, wait, 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 wait. No. Oh. I tell you one thing, when we do go to lunch, he sits at his table and I sit at mine. <laughs> All right, let me get back on the dodge. We do have somewhere else to go crush after this. So, we do have somewhere else to go. Now close your eyes, man. A bunch of dust is gonna fly. Should have just left the lid down and turned it off. It won't hurt it. Oh, dang, there he goes, man, my buddy AK. Dang. Oh, well, I'm sure it's his socket. And I know them sockets ain't cheap. But if he's already replaced it, well, that's what I'll do. I'll go over and go, hey, man, you got 11 millimeter socket? And if he's got one, then we got a dilemma. <laughs> then we got a then we, then we got a moral dilemma. 
But if he ain't got one and he's missing it, boom, there you go. Y'all make the call. Y'all tell me what should I do. And I did keep the gift cards and there was nothing on them. I forgot to mention that. Turn it off. Do you want to crush it? Do you want to crush it? Then turn the machine off. Oh my God. Y'all be careful and be kind. Remember in life, forward, neutral, in reverse, no sideways. Y'all be careful, be kind. Thank you.